All right, guys, this is what we're making today. And this is a printable kit. So you can get this either in the gold subscription during the month of September or on our Etsy. And I will link it all so you can check it out. You can also kind of just follow along with your own supplies and make something similar. So here is what we got. I'm going to just do a quick little walkthrough so you guys can kind of know what you're getting into. But there are some little words here. Perfect joy, a little charm hanging, a pocket here, a pocket here. Let me open it up. And right off the bat, you have a little envelope where you can put some things inside. Flips, and it's an identification card. Pocket. Little pullout. Another little pocket that opens up. Have some other fun things inside. Flip that over. You have a cute another pocket with a really cute tag. Some lots, lots of fun little tidbits and add-ons that I've put here. Super customizable. Like, if there's something that I've done that you don't like, you definitely don't have to do it. A lot of it is, like, stamps. And I added these, like, tidbits on. There's a belly band. We're using a lot of fun elements in this kit. And I, one of my favorite things about the kit is the closure. The closure on this one is just under these papers right here. So, really easy to close and really cute. So that's what we're making today. Again, everything is linked, so please check it out. You guys, this is a really fun one, and I love, love, love the cover. I hope you guys get the chance to do it, and we will start the tutorial. Okay, and then just to jump right into this video, I'm going to show you the pieces you're going to need to start. And they're going to be these four pieces. They're all like the same shape, and then your main folio. The reason it's printed like this with the white squares is for ink saving purposes because we are just going to put these on top and you can decide what order you want things if like you can put these wherever and this is kind of what I'm choosing to do but guys I'm trying a new closure method and I'm really excited but essentially all that's going to happen is these strings you're going to need two strings or do your own closure method there's so many methods totally up to you but I'm just going to put glue mine between these two papers on both sides. So the other one will be on the back here. And when I glue these papers down, I'm gluing those under, making sure to get a lot of extra glue. And I think this will be really good. Just make sure to get a lot of extra glue on the string so that it sticks well. And I would recommend using something a little bit better. This is art glitter glue. I don't know. I'm sure a glue stick would work, but I recommend using something a little heavier duty so that is what I'm going to do and to start I will use a glue stick on the edges like so and then I'm going to add the heavier glue so I'll place it not placing down all the sides. I'm just going to do those sides and then I'm going to add the glue in where it looks like the middle and stick it in pretty far. And I do know this creates a little bit of a bump, but I'm okay with that because it's going to kind of get covered up. And I'm really excited to try this method because it, I think it will make closing the journal, the folio a little bit easier. And just do the other side. So I have these two papers left, but they kind of have a little bit of something extra with them. So don't glue them down just yet. So we'll take this one step at a time and we'll get it done. It's going to be really cute. So essentially, yeah, just glue on the back of this little flap here. And just add it right under there. You could kind of center it wherever you want. I'm doing mine fairly in the middle. 
that. And while that dries, we can do this other one. This other one is so cute. I'm so excited for it. So grab your paper and grab these pieces. Grab this envelope piece here, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And I'm really excited. <laughs> this one is so cute, you guys. So the first thing you gotta do is grab this piece and use it to kind of finish that envelope. So glue got flapped down. And you're gonna just line it up with the edge of the envelope. Kind of press down, see if you got it in a good spot. That looks pretty good. I love this paper pattern, really cute. And then you just need to finish your envelope. So essentially, yeah, just get this edge glued down. Like that. Then you have a really cute envelope page. This is gonna be a page. Look at the back here. So stinking cute. And I, I'm adding this to add some just di di blah, 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 differentiation. Is that how you say that? From the rest of the envelope. I like lots of textures, lots of patterns involved here. So I'm going to be gluing that down best as I can get it. And then I have this, which is so cute. I'm gluing that down as a seal. Oh, goodness. Gluing that down kind of as a seal right there. I love it. And it's really cute. And it's an envelope. There's a little identification card thing on the back. But I'm sure you guys can kind of see where this is going. It's going to get glued right there. I guess I could also do it right here. What should I do? I think I'm liking that one. Just glue that edge and glue it under your main paper. All right, and then just glue down these papers to your book. We're going to move on to the two last kind of big steps and then we are home free with some easier steps. So first one is this. This creates, it's going to be like a little pocket. And you can see one of these has a flap and one does not. So the one that doesn't have a flap can actually get glued down as a pocket. So you're just going to glue the very edges and put it down. So cute. And then this one is going to get glued down right there, but just glue on the flap. we have some little chipboards to go here. You can close it however you want. If you don't like doing this kind of a method, feel free to 
do something different. Totally okay. Um, but there's these two black circles, and I put a chipboard on this one already. But for this one, we're going to add in a little bit of string. So if you have a chipboard, you can also, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could do this. You could even put like some cardboard under these circles. But add a bunch of glue. Add your chipboard to the back of your paper circle. And then when you're gluing down your circle, the one on the for the top flap, you're going to add some string under that. So I'll do it right here. And then place it. And then you can decide how far down you want your button thing. I'm going to just do mine right there. So add some glue, place it again, and we'll let those dry while we move on to our next step. We'll go ahead and go to the front, and you're going to need these pieces. This is going to be the cover of our journal, and I'm so pumped about it because it's so cute. So first things first is I actually wanted to round these edges out. So I have this, and I'm just going to round my corners, totally optional. And I also wanted to add a little pocket right here, a little circle, so I'm going to do that as well. Also very optional step. Let's just re-ink everything. Finally, another optional step. Guys, you can really do whatever you want. But I want to put a circle here, but I want to make sure I get it centered. That's really important. So what I'm going to do is flip it to the back and grab a ruler and a pencil. I'm going edge to edge here. And then you're just going to kind of draw a small line in the middle and do the, other, the same thing going the other way. And that's kind of my center. So I'm going to want to make sure that little cross section is as centered as I can get it. Then I'm going to want to re-ink a little bit. Trying to get that edge all cute. Crunch it up a little bit. Cute. Very good. We don't need the whole book, but we can line this tag up kind of how we want it. And guys, it's going to go like that. Okay. So, I mean, obviously you can play with these supplies however you want, but this is how I'm choosing to do it. And maybe, let's see where you want things, how high up. I want this rounded out. And yes, this is meant to hang off the edges a little bit. I, I wanted to mix it up and do something with an industrial look. And I think that's exactly what this does. But I think that's kind of how I'm going to have it. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. And on that one, I was careful to leave some glue on the edges. Or not directly on the edges because we are, it is a little off center. Perfect. Before I glue this one on, I actually want to add an eyelet in two spots. This is so optional, guys. You do not have to do this. All right, and the goal is to get a little charm hanging from here to here. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. That's optional. You can also just do eyelets for decoration. Totally cool. Whatever you want, guys. 
In this portion of the video, I just used some jump rings and some little chain that I had on hand and kind of just fixed it up where I wanted it to. But I think the charm is so cute. Right, the sun is coming out, so I gotta hurry. But um, once you get that where you want it, I'm also adding in a little something on this one for later. So I'll just put that in and leave it. And then we're going to just glue it down like that. It's gonna be so cute, guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, just add some a bunch of glue wherever you want. so cute it's perfect okay i know the sun's out but i'm gonna do some adjustments and i'll be back okay so here i added on the charm i got it exactly where i wanted added a little paper clip and glued it on kind of where i thought it looked good and i'm just gonna add some sorry silk try to get this as centered as i can it can be very tricky And then add that in. I kind of want this super short actually. Let me trim it. And just for the heck of it because you never know what you might add i'm gonna leave it as a pocket so i'm gonna leave this side open and close all the other sides Okay, now we can finish the rest of it, and the rest of it is a little bit easier. We definitely went past all the hard steps, and we can kind of go from where we are now. So one of the first things I'm going to do is add a little Velcro dot onto this envelope. And I made it very thick on purpose so that I could do that. This page, I have a pocket that I want to put about right here. I'm just going to glue that down. And then I have a little ephemera card that kind of just goes right in there. A belly band and a little notebook. You kind of do what you want with it. And a little pro tip, you guys, you can create a little like, you can leave it just as a card that just opens and you can put whatever you want in there. I actually got some scrap papers and made just a mini little loose leaf notebook. And I'm putting that in there. And then that will go around the belly band. So we'll put the belly band in first. We're going to put it in right there. And then that piece gets just inserted right under. And it just stays there. It's really cute, kind of fun, something we haven't done before. And as you guys can see, it's coming along and it's really cute, super fun. And finally, there's just a bunch of tags. There's an extra pocket you can put somewhere. More little ephemera pieces. And a bunch of tidbits. So you can go through and embellish it. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to speed it up. And then you guys can kind of just 
go with your own little creative freedom and do what you want there and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So first and foremost I'm just kind of adding on this little slanted pocket behind that little flip flippy pocket and I am doing this just so I can stick a tag in there. Now I'm trying to decide how am I going to fix these circles because I don't know if I love the all black look. So I just used a hole punch and I created these little circles to add on top and later I'm going to stamp them. Next I am embellishing this little flip open pocket thing and I'm just creating a little bit of a collage. You guys know I love the collages and it's really hard for me to decide what I want to do. I go back and forth a lot as you can see but I decided on this and then I'm sticking the tag into that little pocket. And then this is actually the back of that little notebook that goes under the belly band and I just wanted to add some extra stuff on there so that's what I'm doing. I know this is a lot of information but you guys really just grab those kit pieces and put them where you want, make it look cute, do your own thing. It is so fun, it's one of my favorite parts about journaling is that freedom. So yeah, do what I do but also add your own thing as well. And here I am just making a little corner kind of collage for that tall pocket. Um, looking back, I should have made this into like a little corner like pocket so I could tuck something behind those ephemera pieces. So just a heads up if you want to do anything like that. I thought that would have been really cute. Next up, it's time to start stuffing things. And I kind of did push the folio a little bit out of view here. But I just found the pieces that I thought fit the best. If anything doesn't fit and you want it to fit, Go ahead and trim it down. I just kept adding things uh, everywhere I wanted and I wanted to use most of the pieces and I think I did. And here's the front. There are two little tags that say pure or what is it? Joy and perfect. Perfect and joy. And so I added those on. I added some metal pieces on like that little paper clip. I started stamping. It was just super fun. Okay and we're just gonna do a little walkthrough of the final folio it is really cute i just love how it turned out so first off we have a little charm just dangling here in the center and then i added i added these two little pieces on it's perfect and joy which perfect joy just cute um and then there's a pocket here if you wanted to add anything in there and a pocket here as well if you wanted to stick anything inside then the closure is perfect because the little strings are just right under the surface here really easy to close all right we open it up and we have a really cute envelope which have a plain journaling card inside then on the back of the envelope it's a little flap so you open it up and a little identification card thing there's a close-up sorry about the lighting it's not it's a little bit more bright in person <laughs> um open it up this is a pocket with a really cute butterfly card. We move over to this side and it is a little, another little pocket. Find your path and then a little grid journaling card. On the back of that is a really cute pocket with a little air hot air balloon i've been i kind of added some stamps as you guys can see just throughout that's what that is cute stamp and then here is a really cute belly band with this and i did a little collage right there and then i used some scrap papers just to have on the inside as extra like a mini journal and it just goes right in like that and then it closes up super easy again everything is linked this is part of the september gold project but you can also get it separately on etsy so i will have that all below for you to check out love it it's a perfectly good sized just little folio there's the spine really cute Again, everything is linked, so please go check it out. This was such a cute project to make, and thank you guys so much for watching. You are the best, and we will see you next time.